Hysteresis is a phenomenon that occurs in nature and man-made processes. There's actually no precise definition for hysteresis, but rather it's often characterized by a looping behavior. And the best way for me to explain what I mean by this is with a simple example that exhibits hysteresis. The example is the dynamics of a thermostat, which illustrates how the introduction of hysteresis into the system greatly improves the performance of the thermostat. Suppose the desired room temperature is 24 degrees. Then any small change in the temperature 24 would cause the thermostat to frequently switch off and on, which is not ideal. In reality, the desired temperature is a range, say between 23 and 25. If initially your thermostat is off, and then the temperature in the room drops below 23, then the thermostat switches on. On the other hand, if initially your thermostat is on, and the temperature in the room rises above 25, then the thermostat switches off. And if these two dynamics are combined, then they form a loop, as illustrated in the third diagram. This loop is formed because the path from off to on is different from the path from on to off. Examples that exhibit hysteresis naturally include freezing and thawing processes, predator and prey relationships, and in my own personal research, magnetization in a magnetic object. The hysteresis loop associated with magnetization is illustrated in the fourth diagram. And if this figure is compared with the one in the third from the thermostat example, you can see that although both figures appear different, the overall general shape of a loop is still maintained. Any process that can be described in terms of a loop probably exhibits hysteresis. The objective of my research is to control magnetization, which is often desired in nano devices. However, the presence of hysteresis makes control rather difficult. Unlike in the thermostat example, in which the presence of hysteresis was a benefit to the performance. And by control, I mean the everyday definition of the word. A control system could be you driving a car and your foot on the gas pedal, which controls the speed of the car. It's your foot in this scenario that's the control. And without the control, in other words, without your foot on the gas pedal, the speed of the car would be less predictable, which could lead to a dangerous situation. A control in a mathematical model behaves the same way. Control systems can arise in biological systems, chemical reactions, and even in social systems. The challenge is to find the appropriate control. And in my research, the control is a mathematical equation which I have which I decide that will allow me to have full authority on the behavior of hysteresis. Luckily, I've already found a control for a simpler but related magnetization model. And using what I've learned from this simpler model will help me to design a control for the original magnetization model. Thank you.